tunaweza kumpigia bwana makofi mazuri he may take our seats in the presence of god bwana akaweze kuwabariki sana na kuwatenda mazuri if you have a neighbor around you can you tell them is a blessing to be here this morning just tell somebody it is a blessing to be here this morning bwana yesu asifiwe sana the times we are living ni nyakati ambazo zilitabiriwa sana katika maandiko na maandiko pia yananakiri ya kwamba watu wengi manabii na watu waliofunuliwa na Mungu kuhusu nyakati za mwisho walitamani sana wakaweze kuishi katika nyakati ambazo tunaishi ili wakaone siku ambazo Mungu atakuja kukaa ndani yetu because in the olden days God never used to abide in the hearts of men and women lakini siku ya leo kupitia wokovu na kupokea roho mtakatifu we are able to receive a portion of God in us Praise the name of the living God. Na kwa hivyo kama kuna watu wanafaa kufurahia ni sisi. This is also uh, tukikumbuka ya kwamba pia Biblia ilisema ya kwamba ni nyakati ambazo ulimwengu utakuwa umetorokea jia za Bwana. Watu watakuwa wamejizikibia jia za Mungu na wamekolea katika uovu. But I thank God because the Bible says ya kwamba nao wakati wa Mungu ukifika Mungu ataachilia revival na ili kanisa la mwisho likaweze kuwa na nguvu kuliko kanisa la kwanza praise the name of the living god and therefore there is a beautiful time to live in the spiritual corridor ni wakati ambao tunaishi because in our times we will see revival coming back to the church bana asiye sana na yale mambo yanatendeka katika ulimwengu ni ishara tu ya kwamba something big is about to be birthed something big is about to come forth praise the name of the living god naombi langu ni ya kwamba mimi na wewe tusiweze kubaki nyuma katika kalenda ya Mungu lakini tukaweze kuhesabika as part of the church of Christ praise the name of the living god na ili tusiwe spectators tusiwe tunajiangalilia tu lakini tuwe ndani na tuwe sehemu ya mwili wa Kristo Praise the name of the living God. I'm excited in the Lord this morning kwa sababu labda ya wale hatuja kutana am Pastor Kerry. Nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana kwa hivyo nina hudumu nikiwa nimeokoka na ninashukuru Bwana kwa sababu ya neema yake. Ah uh, nimeoa niko na mke mmoja tumebarikiwa na watoto wawili. General Alex is our firstborn tulikuja na yeye. Inua tu mkono hivyo salimia watu wa Mungu. Amen amen is our firstborn is anaitwa uh, General Kalex uh, Prince Hagi is our secondborn naye wamehudhuria ibada pale chini na ninashukuru Bwana kwa sababu ya neema yake Ningependa uh, kushukuru kwa sababu ya Bwana kutupa nafasi hii kushiriki katika ibada na pia nataka kunyenyekea sana kusimama katika madhabahu haya uh, I always say that this is uh, our home na kwa hivyo ni wakati wote nimesimama katika madhabahu haya huwa ninakumbuka uh, siku za kwanza nilipokuja hapa na ninaangalia ninaona yale Bwana amefanya na ninanyenyekea sana na ninamwambia Bwana akaweze kunidumisha katika neema yake praise the name of the living god na kwa hivyo haya ni madhabahu ninayaheshimu sana na ninashukuru bwana kwa sababu ya reverend precious and uh, our bishop also kwa sababu ya kunipa nafasi kama hii na kwa sababu leo ni siku ya kusherehekea mothers situwabia wa mom happy mothers day From where you are just say happy mothers day reverend precious amen you are a real mom to us and actually every one of us in our own special way kama tunaweza kupata nafasi i know we can tell a story lakini nigeomba ya kwamba before the end of the day eh, si uzidikisha hiyo maneno yako kiasi in your own way abia mwenzako zidikisha hiyo maneno <laughs> bwana asiye sana 
your own special way before the end of the day make sure that umeizidikisha na bwana ataweza kutubariki sisi tupigie mama kofi mazuri katika jina la yesu if there is a woman sitting next to you can you tell them happy mother's day ya yeah, ni vizuri kuwasherekea wadada wetu because uh, ni siku yao na ni jabo ambalo ni baraka women are a great blessing uh, and uh, we give god all the glory and we celebrate each and every one of you in a special way in jesus mighty name so we knew too mkono sasa dakika moja ukaweze kuombea mzazi naweza kuwa ni mzazi ambaye alikuzaa akakulea naweza kuwa ni a spiritual mom like our mom here reverend precious maybe that woman that has touched your life it's always good to be a blessing to somebody ba sababu biblia inasema ya kwamba anayekubariki anatakaye kubariki naye Mungu ataweza kumbariki na kwa hivyo you can provoke somebody's blessings by simply mentioning their name before the Lord na ili naye Mungu akaweze kuwakumbuka katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu ali hai we give you all the glory our father and we celebrate my father all those that have just touched our lives in a special way may you be a blessing to them my father may you find Jehovah king of all the glory may they find favor before you my father in the mighty name of Jesus we give you glory and praise and we celebrate you because of have letting them come our way in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ oh God we thank you and we honor you for it is in Jesus mighty name we pray and believe Amen. Tupigie Bwana makofi mazuri. Amen. Amen. Mungu awakaweze kuwabariki sana. Ningependa nikaweze kuleta ujumbe kwa zile dakika chache ambazo zimesalia na ili tukaweze kuzungumziwa na Bwana uh, kutokana na neno lake na ningelipenda tukaweze kufungua Biblia zetu uh, katika kitabu cha kutok that is a kitabu cha ufunuo. The Bible in the book of Revelation chapter 3 uh, verse 14 na niliona technician wetu wako na biblia ya NLT kama iko new living translation i would prefer to read from that version na bwana ataweza kutubariki sana Revelation chapter number 3 verse uh, 14 kwa zile biblia ziko na heda yangu inasema pale juu ya verse 14 message to the church in Rhodesia Na hii ni ujumbe ambao uliandikiwa ikiwa ni ujumbe wa saba kwa yale maujumbe ambao Yohana aliambiwa akaeze kuandikia makanisa Na katika kalenda ya uh, the spiritual calendar basi tunaweza kuangalia kanisa la sasa ama nyakati ambazo tunaishi we are living in the Rhodesian time lile kanisa la Raudikia yale mambo yalikuwa yanaonekana pale you can trace them in the current church na basi ni mambo ambayo yanafaa kutufundisha katika kiroho ni vipi tunafaa kujiandaa the man of god william branham in his book the seven church angels ameongea kuhusu hili kanisa la wakati wa sasa na kati ya mambo ambayo yanaonekana katika kanisa hili because i will be speaking about courses of backsliding courses of backsliding katikati ya yale mambo yanaonekana kanisa la sasa ni ya kwamba watu wengi wanaondoka katika jia za Bwana lakini wanaendelea kuwa wafuasi wa kanisa wanaendelea kuwa ba, wanatumikia Bwana katika madhabahu wanaendelea kuwa na testimony and yet they have backslidden from the way of truth in the name of the living god na kwa hivyo siongei kuhusu backslider yule yako kwa club saa hii siongei backslider yule ambaye tunaona hakuji kanisani i am speaking to the church in our times praise the name of the living god inua tu mkono uwabie bwana ninakataa ku backslide katika imani lakini ninaomba bwana unipe nguvu na neema ya kusimamia haki na kutetea wokovu wangu katika nyakati zangu ninakataa kuitwa mkristo lakini katika maisha yangu hakuna mazao hakuna kitu kinaonekana ambia bwana ninaomba moto wako ukawake ndani yangu na ili wherever i go i'll be on fire for you in jesus mighty name 
May the Lord be gracious to us na Bwana akatupe neema ya kutimiza na kutenda mapenzi yake. Praise the name of the living God. Backsliding is simply the act of backing down from the uh, or rather changing from positive to negative. Backing down from a cause and taking a negative or an opposite direction. Praise the name of the living God. When you are pursuing a cause or pursuing something in your life and then all of a sudden for one reason or the other you switch. Kama sasa katika siasa unaona kuna watu wanafuatilia labda uh, chama fulani watu wanafuatilia kiongozi fulani wanafuatilia policies fulani and then all of a time you realize somebody has jumped from this camp to the other camp mahali alikuwa ana support sasa anaanza kuleta confrontation praise the name of the living god that is backsliding yule mtu hajaacha siasa lakini kile kilikuwa msukumo wake amefanya mabadiliko na sasa ameanza kuinukia kile alisimama nacho na kwa hivyo katika kanisa katika enzi zetu tutaona ya kwamba kuna nyakati au wakati ambapo watu wanaweza kuondoka katika jia za Bwana na bado wawe ndani ya kanisa in other words we can be religious and not christians praise the name of the living god the bible says write this letter to the angel of the church of laodicea this is the message from the one Uh, who is the amen the faithful and the true witness the beginning of god's creation verse 15 mm -hmm. i know the things that you do can you tell somebody mungu anasema anajua just help me to preach to your neighbor and tell them god knows praise the name of the living god The Bible says I know all the things that you do that you are neither cold nor you are neither hot nor cold I wish that you were one or the other verse 16 All right but since you are like lukewarm water neither cold neither hot nor cold I will spit you out of my mouth This is Jesus who is right uh, sending a message to the church. The message is to the church of Laodicea. This is not a message to people who are outside the church. It is a message to the church. Praise the name of the living God. But in the Bible we will realize that there are negative promises or rather promises that are to be fulfilled Uh, by those people who will learn away from the will of God and there are promises that will be fulfilled by those people who have committed their life for the cause of salvation it is upon me and you to choose which scripture that we are going to fulfill in the bible i pray to god that you do not fulfill verse 16 of the book of revelation chapter 3 praise the name of the living god bwana yesu asifiwe sana na sasa ningependa tujiulize I'm going to look about uh, to if time allows naweza tutaweza kuangalia sababu tano ama five causes of backsliding and one of them is self confidence which leads to staying around sin self confidence self confidence tunaongea ama ninataka kuongeresha wakristo walio ndani ya kanisa Tukienda kule nje tutawaambia waokoke waje kanisani na ili wakutane na nguvu za Bwana because the word of God is not just stories but in it it carries the power of transformation praise the name of the living God I like the glorious joy state, uh, poris, uh, that is statement which says we teach for life transformation or we teach to transform lives and therefore the word of God is not just about stories the story of Lazarus the story of Samuel the story of uh, this is this man man of god but in it it carries the power of transformation praise the name of the living god when we talk about self confidence you will realize that simply because we are saved and we are in christ 
a number of Christians has and have ended up in sin simply because when an opportunity came to test their faith, to test their stand, they simply said, because I am saved, I am going to, I am comfortable even around here. I have seen people saying, kasababu mimi ni miyokoka, ninaweza nipeleke mewangu wa kunye pobe kidogo, na mimi ni kunye kasoda, arafu ni mweskoti tuende nyubani. Praise the name of the living God. Ni nini inafanya yule dada akaweze kuwa na ile confidence at yeye ataingia na atatoka na atakuwa sarama. And yet this is an area of temptation. Ni mahali ambapo dhambi inamkondolea macho. Na kwa hivyo wa Kristo wengi wamejipata katika eneo ya kukompromise simply not because they made up their decision lakini when it was time to run they did not run they stayed. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. I recall a man of God David katika Biblia. Wanajeshi wameenda vita na yamebaki katika ikuru na sasa ako katika ziara tu ya kuangalia uh, the beauty of the nation. Akitembea tembea akiwa pale juu ya nyumba kule chini anaona mwanamke anaoga. Ni nini ilifanya aingie katika majaribu sio kwa sababu aliona but because he chose to stay on that woman praise the name of the living god god wants us to deal with sin the joseph way the joseph style when joseph is, was in the hands of potiphar's wife and he realized that this is an opportunity ambapo ninaweza ku, ku betray testimony yangu yeye hakukaa pale for debate he decided to learn for his life he decided to learn for his, his testimony praise the name of the living god lakini wa Kristo utapata ya kwamba hata wakati anaingia kwa mitandao anaweza akaangalia anything kwa sababu ya anasema mimi sifanyi mimi si sisi huko katika hii eneo i simply want information praise the name of the living god na kwa hivyo kwa sababu ya watu kukosa kutoroka dhambi unapata ya kwamba watu wana backslide na bado wanaendelea kuonekana kanisani. Bado wako na name tag ya Christian but they are simply religious brothers and sisters. And therefore the power of God, the fire of God, the grace of God is no more evident in people's life. Why? Because it is only a name tag but from within there is no grace there is no power of god there is no fire for god but the bible says that such people when jesus was on this world he did not have problem with sinners actually in his ministry the people he wrestled with and the people who finally uh, uh, came to the decision of how he is going to be crucified they were not sinners they were religious people and therefore the enemy of church today is not even the devil. The enemy of the church today and the greatest enemy that is enticing Christians into sinful lives in a simple religion. Praise the name of the living God. This is why in the statistics they will say in Kenya we are 80% Christians. Where are these Christians? Are all the evils in this nation being done by the retro 20% that is left? Praise the name of the living God. But when we choose to stay around sin, because of self-confidence, then we will find that an opportunity to backslide is just knocking the door. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. And therefore, if you want to sustain the grace and the fire for God, Deal with sin, the Joseph style. Run for your testimony. Praise the name of the living God. Run for your salvation. Otherwise, we will be caught up in the snares of the enemy and we will continue with the name tag Christians. Point number two is wrong spiritual diet. The reason as to why Christians are backsliding and they are not going back to the world, they are staying in church it is because of wrong spiritual diet. 
What do you feed your heart? When brothers are offended, when sisters are offended, they will want anyone who can speak sympathy in their life. Hallelujah. When people are offended, they are easily, they easily fall prey to false Christians, to false prophets. Because they will not call them back to salvation. They will not call them back to be sincere in their work for the Lord. But rather they will try to cover up and bring false prophecies. When Christians are desperate, sometimes they think that God has not answered their prayer. They will be quick to go to those people who are not teaching the word of, the word of God in truth. Simply because they will promise them fake miracles. They will promise them that next year, a time like this, and yet they are not speaking out of the spirit. They are simply speaking to entice people and to give false hopes because they know they are not even serving God to begin with. Hallelujah. And therefore they will go proclaiming just anything. And because if brothers and sisters are either offended or desperate, they will simply follow up with the long doctrine, simply because it is sympathizing with them, and they are feeling that this woman of God, this man of God, is addressing exactly what I wanted addressed in my life. And therefore it is good to pray to God, that yes, we may have needs, but pray to God that you don't become desperate. Praise the name of the living God. In the course of Christian, in the course of our Christian life, you will realize that some other times people will be offended because of one or two reasons. And when they go and hear somebody or they, they, uh, they, they have an opportunity to listen to somebody, then you hear, you realize that usually they will not learn to the truth unless they deal with what is costing them to get offended then you'll find that they will want somebody who will speak in a certain way. When God delayed to answer the prayer of King Saul, he said, get me a sorcerer. Get me a witch woman. Praise the name of the living God. Why was this man of God Remember from the day, from the first day when he was called into the office of kingship in Israel, it was all about God. He is anointed and a few hours later he is speaking in tongues. The power of God has heavily come on, come on this man and a time comes and because he is offended with God, God is not answering prayers. He is offended. He is desperate. There is something he wants and God is not easily answering or quickly answering. Then he says, get me a witch woman. Get me that sorcerer. Praise the name of the living God. When Christians are desperate, they easily fall prey to false teachings. May the Lord help us. Praise the name of the living God. Point number three is failing to establish boundaries. Failing to establish boundaries in a Christian's life. When you realize that at a certain time in your life there are no do's and don'ts. You can hang up with anyone. You can go to any party. You can drink anything. You can eat anything. As long as you say I am I'm a Christian, then you find that you will easily backslide and continue with the name tag of a Christian in, on your forehead. It is the simple rules we set in our lives that will help us to deal with sin when an opportunity has come in our life. Praise the name of the living God. It is the boundaries you have set that will allow you not to follow a group of young men and women, a group of workmates, a group of those people who are feeling like they uh, is an elite group, we associate together, we are this and that, we, are, we have done this together, and therefore because group yet we may say matufanya hi, ama tukule hi, ama tuende pale. If there are no do's and don'ts, 
self-developed and self-governed principles then you will find that utaingia katika dhambi na utakolea mahala pale and you will be a lukewarm christian Simply because even when it comes to your testimony you will not be able to preach to those people who are in the neighborhood workmates comrades age mates or them family members praise the name of the living god there has to come to a time and you say like daniel yes there has been made a decree and the king has a stamp on it that nobody should bow to any other god or call upon any other name apart from bowing on uh, before that image praise the name of the living god and when the king had made that decree remember it was the, the life to, to snare this man of god it was actually not a genuine rule it was only meant to snare that is uh, uh, to, to catch this man of god daniel lakini wakati ambapo waliingia katika Uh, ikulu ya mfalme wakaketi na yeye na wakamwambia let us this make let us make these rules when the devil is against the church even the nation and the state and the world will pass rules that are against the church bana sifi sana bana yesu asifiwe this was not from the heart of the king it was simply a counsel that sat down and realized this man of god daniel is vivid They try to check his office how he's working and everything and they realize we cannot catch him on anything. There is nothing wrong in his in his administration. There is nothing wrong in his office and therefore we have to find a way of getting this man into a snare such that we can have our way. And therefore they conspired and they said because this is a religious man and he's so firm then we have gone to make a rule against his religion and they went to the king and they told the king now these were the rulers the mendes that time they told the king now we're going to make an image and everyone who is not going to bow to that image because it is going to be your image and worship it then he's going to be uh, uh, he's going to face one two three uh judgment but when daniel heard those words Instead of thinking we like continue in prayer the bible says he went up to his room and he opened up the window facing Jerusalem and he called on the name of the lord remember this row has been made against that they are simply looking for a prison an opportunity to trap this man of god but because there were firm do's and don'ts in his life he neither decided to bow for the image Neither did he decide to quit praying simply because there is a threat. There comes a time whereby as a Christians you will face persecution, you will go through tough times because of your testimony. Praise the name of the living God. And therefore when Christians do not have boundaries in their life, they will simply compromise and because It seems like it is the order of the day they will continue coming to church they will continue with the testimony they will continue ministering for God and yet in their lives they have backslidden from truth Bana swe san Hallelujah It is the do's and the don'ts the boundaries that told uh Shadrach Meshach and Abednego they stood before the king and they told him Yes, may the king live forever. But let the truth be known to you that we are neither going to bow to your image or rather worship the idols, neither are we going to renounce the name of the Lord. If God will save us through this fire, well, if he doesn't fight for us, let's perish in this fire, but we are not going to do as you say. When we have firm boundaries in our lives the devil will know this is a territory whereby I cannot freely come in and walk out when there are no boundaries in our church if this compound did not have a fence then we will find that anybody can come and graze around here anybody can come and dry their clothes here anybody can walk in from right and left simply because if you have no boundaries you become a no man's land 
And every test the enemy wants to try, then the devil will try it on you. Praise the name of the living God. Far be it from us, and may the Lord give us the grace to establish boundaries in our lives. Number four is a desire for a good life. Christians today are backsliding because of the burning desire for a good life. The desire for a good life. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Today if you look at many people, not many people are looking for okay, here's a number of people and quite a big number they are hunting for the daily bread. But you find that many people are now beyond the daily bread and they are in the level of competition. I simply want to outsmart my sister. I simply want to be the best in the neighborhood. I want my house in the neighborhood to be the best. I want to drive the most modern car. I want the best dress, the best hairstyle. And therefore, because we are competing, then you find that many people will not be content with the ritual that God has given to them. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. This is why you will find that a young man or a young lady who just finished form four last year or this year, an attacker by three months or by the end of this year, at least awe na kanyumba, awe anayadesha kagali, awe anayatumaisha tuzuri, awe anaweza kufanya hii na hile ingine, Na kwa sababu ya ile tamaa ya kutamani maisha mazuri na yaje kwa haraka bila kugojea wakati wa Mungu na mapenzi ya Mungu then you find that many people will not stay true to their salvation. The corruption we are having in our nation it is not because people are hungry it is not because they are looking for daily bread. It is not because they have basic needs that they, are, they, are, they cannot be able to meet. It is simply because, yes, I am a millionaire, but there are a few others ahead of me, and I've got to show them that I, I've got to prove a point that, yes, I am also able to do one, two, three. Praise the name of the living God. When this competition has eaten up our hearts, and we are burning in our hearts. And everybody wants to be a hand of the next person. Then you find that many people will not stay true to their Christian lives. You are employed somewhere. This is not an agreement between you and your employer. It is simply because you are feeling, I've got to prove a point. I've got to compete. I've got to add this and this and that. Na kwa hivyo napata katika maisha watu wengi sana. Ni kweli tuko kanisani, lakini tumeondoka katika jia za mungu. The Holy Spirit cannot anymore abide in us because our desires our excitement is no longer in the things of God. And therefore, attending, to ch attending church services becomes a duty, and fulfilling a religious duty is an order of the day. But in our lives, we are not bearing any fruit for the Holy Spirit. We are not becoming effective in any way as Christians. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Do we call them first world nations? We will realize that years ago, they used to have mega churches. They used to have powerful crusades. They used to have powerful conferences. We were receiving missionaries to come and teach the word of God from their nations. But what has happened today? Because of the desire for the good life and democracy, and doing things your own way and having your way, they have kept God out of their conversation. Actually, sometimes they have gone to the extent of you cannot mention God in, in a public place. You cannot speak to somebody and tell to, to, to convert them or rather to change their faith into Christianity. They have simply declared that preaching 
in their nations is against the law. And therefore you can be arrested because of telling somebody Jesus loves you and he wants you to give your heart to him. Why is this happening? Because people want democracy. Even in our times and in our church today, if we would have that opportunity, people would want so much to bring democracy in the church. They want to do things their own way and still serve God. They want to do things their own way and still be called good Christians. This is why people are backsliding where they are still in the church. Praise the name of the living God. May the Lord God help us. Finally, spiritual resonance. Spiritual resonance. I think that's the fifth point in our uh, lesson and, and the last one. Mungu anapendezwa na bibi. God himself is a worker. Praise the name of the living God. God himself is a worker. And therefore, he expects that in our lives, we are also going not to be just live because the day has come, but he wants us to have a purpose for life, and not just a purpose, but to actively pursue the purpose of our lives and the goal of our lives, and especially in the Christian calendar, in our spiritual program. When a Christian is lazy, they will spend from Sunday to Sunday without opening a Bible. Then you, feed the, you find that they have nothing to feed their spirit man. They will grow weaker and weaker because they will open the Bible on Sunday and after the service the Bible is crossed up until the next fellowship, until the next service. Then we are, if we are not feeding our hearts with the word of God, then you will realize that it will be very easy to backslide. We may fall prey to the enemy. We may fall into the snares of the enemy because we have not fed our hearts with the word of God. When Jesus is in the wilderness and the enemy has come and he is tempting him, Jesus would only respond not with ideas, not with opinion. He will tell him it is written. Where is it written? How did Jesus discover it is written? He had time to study, not just to read, to study the word of God. Praise the name of the living God. Reading the Bible should be the order of the day in our Christian life. If you want to be strong, if we want to fight this battle, if we want to be fruitful in our Christian lives. We've got to make the Bible a daily menu. In our diary of the day. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Look at the life of Jesus. He is the son of God. He knows he came from heaven. He knows his assignment on this world. He knows he's not going to fail. He knows he is God. But with all this, Jesus Christ would spend hours of the night in prayer. He would still spend hours in the night crying, my father. He wanted to know the will of God in his life. He wanted to be sure that everything he is doing is that which is coming from the reading of God, his father. We are lesser human beings, if we would say so. Because the Bible says, if we say we are not sinners, then we would make God a liar, and the truth is not in us. If Jesus lived such a life, the Bible says he is the author and finisher of our life. That means if, we are, if you've got to attain those levels, then we've got to live with Jesus as the pace setter in our lives. We've got to emulate what he did. We've got to plan after him. We've got to walk in his footsteps. We've got to desire to attain the level he attained. Remember he said, 
the things I do, you will do also and greater works than this. Jesus did not set limitations in our lives. He told us we will hit his mark and we will go over and above. But it doesn't just come. Praise the name of the living God. And therefore, spiritual resiness will sometimes push us away from the truth. Why? Because if we don't live up to that, then we will realize that we will grow weaker and weaker by day. It is not the will of God. The will of God is that we attain the stature of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the living God. I want us to rise on our feet as we end this. I want you to make a personal prayer. Backsliding will actually cost the people around you. Look at the man of God, Jonah. When Jonah has received a mission to go to Nineveh and preach the gospel, on his way he decides, no, I'm not going to head to Nineveh. I'm going to divert because I have other interests. I have other opinions. Because of backsliding, those people who were in the ship together with Jonah, they lost their time. They wasted a lot of time trying to deal with the currents in the ocean. They wasted their money. They wasted the, the luggages they had carried in the ship. And therefore, when people backslide, it would not only cost you, it will also cost the people around you. Remember Achan in the days of Joshua. This man of God is a soldier. He has not lived to the expectation. And because he has defiled the rule of God, then you find that Akan, Badara ya kupokia kibali, anafanya jeshi la watu wa mungu likaweze kuwawa. Na yeye hawawi. Lakini jeshi la mungu wa kieda vita lina uwawa. Kwa nini? Somebody has backslidden. Somebody is costing this army. Praise the name of the living God. Wakati mutu wana backslide, ha, siyo mieye mwenyewe tu wanaenda hasara, even those people around you. We lie on our feet and speak about our spiritual journey. God wants you and me to live up to the stature of Jesus Christ. He is the author and finisher of our faith. If we are going to live a good life, we have got to hit the mark he set for us. Just raise your hands before the Lord and tell God something about your life. Let me not say to you what you are going to speak to God, but going by the message of the day, can you seriously and sincerely speak to God about your life, about your Christian life? Can you look at your and tell God, pray Yes, there could be a door that has opened in my life. But I pray for one thing. The Lord, you may give me the grace that I will not backslide in this season and even in the season to come. But I will live up to the Christian standards. I will live up to the pace set by Jesus who is the forerunner of our spiritual life. And God is going to hear our prayers. Our God hears and answers prayers. And this is the only confidence we have in